Therapeuta Sanitation Part 3 Fermentation uh, My name is uh, Asrat. Uh, I am doing a PhD uh, in uh, Institute of uh, Waste Water Management and uh, Water Protection. My uh, project uh, focuses on uh, Terra Preta Sanitation, which is a new sanitation system uh, based on, uh, established based on uh, ecological sanitation approach. And um, basically it is, uh, the main idea is transforming uh, human excreta to humus, uh, then to use it for uh, agricultural production. This Terra Preta is a soil in Amazon, which is very fertile, which is believed believed to be formed as a result of ancient civilization by addition of different bio-wastes and organic materials including human excreta to soils. Uh, this Terra Preta system has two uh, parts, collection system and uh, further processing phase and uh, the collection phase is using lactic acid fermentation process and later uh, the material, the fermented material will be composted. So. In this the whole uh, process, my main focus is the uh, lactic acid fermentation phase to establish a process uh, for collecting human excreta. There are different uh, ways uh, of uh, making this terra preta. This is, uh, we are applying it to sanitation. So in sanitation, the fermentation step is very crucial because uh, we are managing excreta. So that is uh, hazardous material basically. So the fermentation will Make, uh, will kill most of the pathogens and it will uh, conserve the nutrients. Uh, there will not be ammonia release uh, or other uh, volatile compounds released in this process. So if you want to incorporate excreta to this terra preta matrix, then you need the fermentation step. Uh, fermentation process using a lactic acid bacteria. So which bacteria are suitable for uh, this process? So that is one of the issues uh, I was looking at. and. What are the materials need to be added? Uh, normally in uh, fecal matter, in human excreta, there are uh, no much uh, sugar, but this lactic acid fermentation process is based on a sugar, uh, easily degradable sugar source, so we need to supplement the process with uh, sh uh, sugar. So what amount of sugar uh, we need to add? So that is one of the things also uh, we were looking at. Well, it can be waste sugar source. Uh, it need not be like uh, the normal sh house, uh, whole sugar. There are different uh, waste sugar sources that can be added. So that can be a challenge, but uh, in the pro we are optimizing also different sugar sources, like using kitchen waste to sh supplement the sugar needed. Uh, one of the uh, aim of the research is also to see, because we are establishing a new system, and to see how uh, the process works with dis different collection modes separate fecal matter, uh, combined urine and fecal matter, and also we uh, established separ uh, partially combined, like part of the urine will enter the toilet, so that you will not have uh, this toilet with uh, two inlets. When you are using the toilet for both, then you can use the toilet with one inlet, and if you have urine only, if you have to urinate, then you can have separate urinal. It, it has been one year since I established this uh, the fermentation processes and working on optimizing uh, the sugar levels, uh, different strains of lactic acid bacteria which are suitable, so screening and uh, it has been one year. Uh, the substrate the extra time we are using is uh, collected in uh, our uh, a toil experimental toilet and then uh, we feed to these small uh, reactors because we, we are doing the experiment by weight. So we wait, we put it here, we mix the different uh, bacteria, the sugar. Uh, yeah, in this experiment we are uh, seeing, we are using range of microbes, like pure strains of lactic acid bacteria, different pure strains, for example, uh, like, yeah, we about seven strains, which are screened from different workers on other substrates, for example, uh, kitchen waste, uh, fish waste, and so on. And also we are using Rekin mix, which is um, uh, a microbial mix uh, provided by um, one researcher, which, is, uh, which are also consisting of beneficial microbes. Uh, well, the difference uh, between the different strains is in achieving lower pH, the final pH. So when we have very low pH, then 
we are increasing the uh, effect on hygienization, <coughs> uh, effects on conservation of the different materials, and also the odor uh, will be also uh, better. So we have more uh, acidic uh, environment, creating more acidic environment, which is not suitable for pathogens. Lactic acid bacteria degrade easily sugar, it consumes the sugars and produce lactic acid, which uh, is a sterilizing compound and which will have red, a pH reduction effect in the system. And also there are other uh, antimicrobial compounds produced by lactic acid bacteria, which will have effect on uh, hygienization. And uh, by reducing the pH and eradicating most of the microorganisms, then uh, uh, volatile compound releasing organisms will be disrupted, so there will not be much, uh, there will not be gas production and uh, other volatile compound production, which are causing a nuisance, nuisance odor. Uh, so far, we have screened uh, some suitable lactic acid bacteria with, from a range of uh, bacteria, and also we have optimized what amount of sugar uh, that needs to be added in the toilet so for the process to work. Well, based on uh, the results so far in, for the collection in the toilet, the lactic acid fermentation process works well with the pure strains of lactic acid bacteria. Um, so pure strains are better uh, suited for from uh, collection of excreta in toilet than EM or uh, Reckin mix. Once you have the starting culture, then you can, using normal sugar sources, uh, which are available at household level, you can keep them, uh, you, you can uh, cultivate them continuously for, uh, for example, if for household use. So we are considering kitchen waste and molasses parallelly. So, uh, with the problem uh, of adding kitchen waste in the toilet, for example, as a sugar source, is the sugar in the kitchen waste is not readily available. It has to go undergo some uh, steps. One approach that we are seeing is like processing the kitchen waste a bit so that it releases uh, sh easily sugar, degradable sugar, and then add it to the toilet. But uh, from our experience, since the sugars are is not easily available. Smell is not, as a beginning, smell is not reduced. And uh, well, it takes, it takes longer time uh, for the fermentation to be effective when you have uh, kitchen waste. The ratio of urine and fecal matter is um, one, uh, one pieces to 10, for example, if you consider weight. So that is too much for the fermentation. Uh, for you need, uh, <coughs> you need to add more sugar uh, because of the urine. The process uh, works well when it is only fecal matter or partially collection. Uh, we are not saying we have to mix all the urine and the fecal matter now because based on our results, uh, that's not the most suitable uh, for the process. The urine can also be fermented. If you have separate urinal, then uh, you can ferment the urine so that you prevent ammonia volatilization. So that is the most critical problem in uh, ecosystem systems with separate Turing collection. There are no ways to prevent um, nutrient losses, easy ways. So the fermentation of urine will uh, achieve that. And then you can put the urine in the composting letter. Urine collection with urinal, when a person has to urinate, is also has, that has to be um, integrated into the system. So that's, that's how we are approaching. Having a toilet using a vermi com vermis, worms to compose the fecal matter. Uh, there are uh, good results, especially uh, with respect to um, transforming it to humus. But uh, one of the challenges is uh, the odor problem uh, from the toilet. So using uh, the lactic acid fermentation in the toilet and then using the worms later uh, will have uh, <coughs> definitely a beneficial effect based on the result of the vermi composting. So that's, that's why we are using vermi composting as a further stabilizing phase because it is it ha, it's also found to be efficient in um, hygienizing the fecal matter, even vermi composting alone. So uh, combined with the lactic acid fermentation, uh, which we expect uh, will reduce most of the pathogens at the source in the toilet. Hopefully we will have a new sanitation system in the ECOSAN approach, which is more efficient, safe, uh, efficient to use uh, different resources, like the nutrients, and safe uh, in the sense that it, uh, it will be, uh, most of the pathogens will be reduced 
um, even we believe it, it will reduce all of the pathogens, including um, Ascaris X. So uh, the ultimate uh, goal will be to establish a system, like um, a collection system for collecting human excreta at uh, households and to develop a toilet, a suitable toilet as well, suiting for the lactose fermentation process. We are thinking is to establish a service provider, for example, when uh, there is a central uh, si system where this provider will produce these microbes and then provide to the householders. This uh, Terra Preta system is, as I said, it is based on ECOSAN system and um, <coughs> it transforms excreta to humus. And, but when we see the ecological sanitation approach established so far, um, it's, uh, there are no uh, proper pathways for treatment and up further application of excreta. The, sometimes there is odor problem in most of the systems. Uh, there is pathogen reduction is not as efficient and the nutrient conservation is also not as efficient. So this system, uh, the odor uh, will be eliminated as a source when uh, fecal matter is collected and significant amount of pathogen reduction will be achieved. And also the nutrients will be uh, conserved. Uh, then you have finally you have safe product which have ability to or which when you apply it on soil it will have very beneficial effect.